Hello, I'm the Nostalgia Collector, and hang on. Uh, get the light fixed. Eh, it still looks like shit, but whatever. Um, but it, it's late, and I'm tired. It's been a long day, and I really need a shower. So this is going to be a quick video, quick and sloppy, you know, kind of like my love life. But I just got a uh, Amazon package in. And uh, one of the things in here I'm actually super excited about. Uh, let's have a look. There you go, let me close that. Alright, first off, let's just get these little ones out of the way. These were some cheapo Blu-rays that have been in my cart for a while, so I figured I'd why, I just, why not jump on them. Um, the others, this is actually a really, really good horror movie. Um, uh, last I owned this was actually on VHS, so I'm glad to finally have the Blu-ray update for it. Um... Reservoir Dogs. This is one that I'm actually just now um, upgrading because I did have this on DVD, but I'm getting rid of my DVDs. So there's the Blu-ray, and I love that movie. So, and lastly, I've got The Sandlot. This is the 25th anniversary edition. If I'm not mistaken, there's something actually in this one that I want to pull out. It's a childhood favorite of mine. I think it's a childhood favorite of everybody from the 90s. James Earl Jones. The Beast. Fucking love it. Killing me, Smalls. Is it? Oh, no. I could have sworn they were like, um, ba like baseball cards or something that came with this. So, well, that's kind of disappointing. Oh, well. Still... It comes with a slipcover, and I always love that when they come with slipcovers. Now, let's get to the piece de resistance. Oh, another collector's edition, or limited edition. I don't know how limited it is, but... Boom. This is the 40th anniversary edition of Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Another childhood favorite of mine, and pretty much everybody's that was born after whatever the hell, 1975, I guess. Oh, yep, there it is. Limited edition, 40... Thousand. That's forty. Four zero thousand six hundred and forty-two out of a hundred thousand. That's still only a hundred thousand out. So, yeah. be gone, plastic wrap. I open my collectibles. All right. Um. Oh, that's a really cool back. I love that. It's pretty. It's all shiny too. I love that. It's like a holographic card. Ah, I see this issue a lot lately with uh, some of these the corners tear, which that's, you know, whatever. It's not like I'm planning on selling it or anything, but here we go. Oh, separately wrapped in plastic. Uh, Pure Imagination, the making of Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Nice. Wonka's golden ticket. I got a golden ticket. Uh, it's probably way too late to use that code for a uh, grand prize. Yep, 2012 was a. Uh... Yep, it expired uh, February 3rd of 2012, so <laughs> I'm a little bit late on that. Oh, what is this? <laughs> Evening Bulletin. Oh my god, it's the script. Or a copy of a page from the script. Or no, that, that, that's a list of casting. Hang on. Miss Paya Arnold. Mr. Gene Wilder. Mr. Jack Albertson. Okay. So, those are like letters to the cast, the main cast. Dear Mel, I've received the costume sketches. This seems to be correspondence um, with, I guess, the director and who wrote it? Probably the costume designer or somebody. Nope, Gene. So I'm, I, I guess that's like Gene Wilder's handwriting. Obviously, it's a copy. It's not like authentic, but still. Uh, more letters to the cast from Mel Stewart. 
so yeah, that's wild. Here's the Blu-ray itself. It it looks like a chocolate bar. That's cool. Let's see here. Yeah, Mel Stewart was the director. Um, I do not want to tear any of this. Despite me opening everything, I do try to take care of this stuff. Uh, the movie, the DVD movie, and the special features. And Gene Wilder right there in the middle, mugging at us. That's, that just looks delicious. Is it not? I could take a bite of that. Um, then this right here, it's chocolate bar, but I, I actually know what's in it because I've actually seen it unboxing before. Um, this actually looks like a Tootsie Roll, but it's an eraser and some pencils. Uh, I'm not going to use those. Um, they're probably all wore out. Not wore out, but like dried out and everything. And uh, I'm very particular about what I write with, so... But yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. Um, you've seen the box and everything, and you've seen the movie. So, yeah, I mean, I'm overall, like, it's a really cool set, actually. Um, came with a lot of really cool stuff um, that kind of preserved the history of the film. So I was super excited um, when I found it. Like, it, I, I'd been following it on Amazon for a while, and it hadn't been that expensive. But it was like $10 cheaper on average on eBay. And when it finally dropped down on Amazon, I'm like, okay, screw it, let's just jump on it now, and um, whatever. So I jumped on it, and of course I had these that were like $5 a piece that have been sitting in my cart for a while, so I've just jumped on all of it together. And um, overall, it's a great little haul here. Um, some awesome movies. And I can't wait to see the quality on Blu-ray. Anyway, um... Yeah, okay, seven minutes, so really quick and sloppy and all. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and sign off here because, like I said, I I'm dying for a shower right now. And um, anyway, I'm, I've been the Nostalgia Collector, and uh, remember, physical media will never die.